Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Kelly. Welcome to Be In The Change. I'm gonna get started by reciting my inspiration. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us. It is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. I'd like to say welcome to everybody who's watching me for the first time and thank you. And welcome back and thank you to everybody who's been following me on this journey where I started in 2019 stating out loud that I was breaking up with fear, I was breaking up with shame, and I was breaking up with guilt, followed by a weekly video for my New Year's resolution. And it was the first time I, everybody, I ever told anyone what my New Year's resolution was out loud. And it was the first time in my life I was able to keep it. So I did these videos telling you how fear, shame, and guilt was not breaking up with me but I was breaking up with it anyway. So um, as time has gone on, I am less afraid. I don't live in shame and the fear, I'm able to walk through it. I can feel the fear and do it anyway. So that is huge. Um, in 2020, it was to be kinder and more compassionate to myself and others, which I'm still doing, still working on. And then 2021 to, was to break up with processed sugar and realizing that I know I have a massive sugar addiction and I needed to start addressing it. And so that was my New Year's resolution last year. And I tried doing it alone by myself for about 11 months. And then I slowly started to go back on it and all the reasons why I quit it started to come back. All the re you know, I forgot. I forgot what it was like. And that's what happens to me when I am not constantly reminded of how bad things are from other people, not just myself, because I forget. So um, I relapsed on sugar and then I went off of it again and then I had it again. And you guys, I realized and keep realizing I am a food addict and I have an addiction to food. And um, it is so hard to address. It's so much harder than drugs and alcohol. I'm recovering from drugs and alcohol. You don't have to do that every day to live, but the food thing is a constant setup for me and I still have FOMO fear of missing out or think that I'm missing out when I see everybody else still being able to do it. And I get upset and I wish that I still could. And um, I keep testing the waters to try and have it. Somebody just told me about a 12 step program that I've never heard of before. And I've been in a 12 step program since and recovering since 1989. So um, it's called Food Addicts Anonymous, and I never heard of it before. So before I do this video, this next week, I promise you guys I'm going to go to a meeting because it'll hold me accountable. It's like once I really show up, I'm going to have to start doing this, and, and I'm scared. And it's going to be hard. And, you know, I've quit alcohol and drugs, quit smoking. I've quit harming and hurting myself for money and for any other reason. And the food is the hardest addiction for me and I know I need to address it. So I'm saying that out loud so I can hear myself say it and so that I have some accountability. 
And then this year was to attach an income to what I do. And you guys, I know what I do. I know what I do. And most people don't know what I know. I can see people on a soul level. I can see people through God's eyes. And then I have to walk around and not tell people what I can see, which is a really, really hard job. So marketing this to get it together, to, um, to tell people that actually who want to hear it and then to get paid for it because because I don't know how to label this, but I am the last person that you come talk to after you have exhausted every other way in your life. And I can explain it to you, what's happening, how it's happening. And um, so I'm the last resort. So it takes a long time to get people to hear what I want to, oh, not to hear what I want to have to say, to be able to hear what I'm saying. And I know a lot of people can't hear me yet, but what I've learned is it doesn't mean I'm not meant to do this. And so one of the ways that I was thinking of getting paid and you know, this whole money thing, the whole world, money, 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 money. And you know, money is people's higher power. It's their God. Well, money isn't my higher power. God is. And um, and charging people and knowing what to charge people who want to come and talk to me. But what I've decided to do is when I'm ready to set this up, I need to get like a website. I need to figure all this stuff out. And it's been very hard because there's not a lot of people that know what I know and that do what I do. So... Um, I was thinking what I want to do is work on a sliding scale. So whatever you make, that's what I make. If you make $5 an hour, I'll make $5 an hour. If you make $10,000 an hour, I want $10,000 an hour. I want to meet people where they are and not have people not be able to come talk to me because they don't have enough money. And, um, you know, most of the people who want to talk to me now, they have the money. They got the money. They don't have this. And that's what I have. And, um, and I work very hard at it every single day. It's my job. And um, so I don't get a lot of views. A lot of people don't watch my stuff. And I'm still meant to do it anyway. And if, you know, we're in a world where if you don't get enough clicks or enough likes, enough outside validation, then you're not supposed to do it or that you're not helping people or that there must be something wrong with you. And I have since done so much work on myself that I know when people are ready, they will come find me. But in the meantime, I'm not doing this for likes, for clicks, or for validation of I'm okay. Because I've been able to work through all of that stuff. So I want to thank everybody who's watching me, who's tuning in. Um, thank you. Thanks for watching me. I am all about love and forgiving yourself because I've been able to do that for myself. So if you are not about love and you don't like yourself, you are going to reject me and you're not going to like me. And I'm still okay with that. That has nothing to do with me. And so this is your sign signing off. I still did not combine my YouTube channels. I have to figure that out. So if you guys know how to figure out getting two YouTube channels down to one, combining the two, please reach out to me. I would love to have help with this because the computer stuff is the hardest stuff for me. I'm good at talking, I'm good at speaking, I'm good at sending you places, but the computer stuff is, is really hard for me. So um, 
Thanks again. Happy Easter. I will see you all next week. Stay safe and stay tuned.